Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast 3D printing tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're here with my ANET A8 Plus. Love working with this printer, but it does have an annoyance. Friends, let me show you what it is, and we're going to fix it. As we swing around to this side, friends, here's my annoyance. I put the SD card inside that hole way too often, so we're going to print a tiny cover to fix it. All right, so let's start with a digital caliper. And this little piece right here, the SD card is 14.1 by about 2. And then this little gap, we're going to set this inside here. And I've got about 4.8 millimeters for this opening. And if we go across, we'll get this upside down. And sorry if my hands are in the way. Before we run into this USB port, we've got 21 and a half. So I'm going to write all those down. 14.1 by 1.9 and then it was 24.1 and it was 4.7 all right everybody so we're gonna fix this in tinkercad if you haven't used tinkercad before let me catch you up uh, it is a website you can go to it is totally free this is where you click and change the name I'm calling this SD cover and as you can see I started without you let me just show you what I did and how I keep all these versions so first we build with shapes like cubes of course I came out here and typed in those measurements remember this was 24.7 and those were all estimates because it was upside down and twisted around and then I want it to be bigger than that gap so I'm gonna take this and do about 10 I wanted it to be thin because I want to be able to still grab the SD card so I'm gonna make this 0.25 you can see how tiny that is but notice it is not nice and rounded. So here's what I'm going to do to make it rounded. I'm going to change this to 1, and I'm going to add a nice radius. But I'm also going to show you something here. Notice this radius is kind of wonky. Let me show you the right way to get these rounded edges. So you've got to type the numbers for everything. You'll notice right here if I do 2 and press Enter, sweet rounded edges on this cube. Now if we come over here and type in our numbers, so I think on this screen, I'm going to put my 24.7 here, see if it goes the way I want. Now it doesn't, so I'm going to make this my 9 or 10. I'm going to make the width my 24.7. And then I'm going to type my 2 for my height. That gets me the rounded edges I really expected. Check out the difference between those two. These are called parameters, friends. You want to use those. So then I came over here to my shape, and I started adding the pieces to make this turn out the way I wanted. Remember there was a hole? Well, we bring that out with a hole. Now if you set it here because of cruising, it lands on top. If you set it on the work plane, they're at the same spot. Remember this was 14, and it was 2, or 1.9. And then we just need to align it. Now I did some guess and check. Right now I'm going to hit L for a line, and I'm going to make sure that I've got it in the middle. And then I chose to slide it out this way so that it lined up where I wanted. Once again, there was guess and check on all of these, and this is going to be flipped upside down. Now you'll notice here that this is trimmed really, really thin. Well, we did that with another one of these cubes. I'm going to just grab this one here and do Control D and bring it over. This is with the arrow keys, that is shift nudge. And you can see how that gets that exact height that's gonna be left over. I can select all of those items. I'll show you from the top. This is the view cube. So you can see that they are all contained. And when we do group, which is also control G, bingo, you'll see that that slices absolutely awesome. Now I could have just glued this in place, which would have worked pretty darn slick, but instead, I have added these little tabs. And of course, I built these little bumps the same way. This is a good time for me to show you how that cruising works. See how here it would land on the blue work plane. 
Now it's going to land on top of the red shape. That cruising is totally awesome. And then, of course, I typed in the parameters. If I ungroup this really quick, let me show you what those were. There's the hole that we're cutting in. And this is my 2 by 10 by 4 by 2 by 3. This is going to let it lock in pretty decently to the printer. Friends, I'm going to delete that right now. Let's regroup our part. Control G is group. And let's export it for 3D printing. Notice I've only got the selected shape because I left all my practice projects out there. And I'm going to save it as an STL. I always save it in my 3D modeling folder. And this is kind of fun. You can see how I started with just the flat plate. Then I added the bump and the cool rounded edges. And now we're moving on to the final one. I'm going to quickly name this V4. Hit save changes. I like to print with Ultimaker's Kira. I am using 5.5. Let's swap printers, so we're actually printing it on the A8+. We're going to be using generic PLA. Of course, we need to travel to that 3D modeling folder. And let's snag SD cover version 4. As you can see, it is tiny. I'm going to quickly hit slice. This print is estimated to take 2 minutes. I'm using a layer height of 3, wall thickness of 0.8. My top and bottom is set at 1.2 millimeters. Infill at 20%. Those temperatures are 260. Print speed is 75. And I'm using skirt for build plate adhesion. Let's save it to the removal disk and let's get this printed. Alright, so here we are after two minutes of printing. Let's see if I can pop that off. Because of that little rounded edge, it's easy to get my fingernail under there. It turned out really slick. Let's see how it fits. Alright, so let's check this out. Let's spin it around. And you see this little groove fits in that spot right there. How cool is that? Slides right in. I could add a dab of glue, could maybe make it tighter, but I think I'm going to be happy. Friends, here's the test. Bingo. Still enough room for me to push and get it out. That's pretty darn sweet. Maybe our next project is to see if we can fill in this area as well. Friends, let me wrap up back here in Tinkercad. I do want to show you there is a note feature. And you can leave notes. V4, printed fine. And then also, when you're done, you can share your designs with the world. Now I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to show you how to make the background a different color and I'm going to show you how to hide the grid because when you do this it looks nicer when the project's shared. Now since I'm going to let everybody use this I'm going to actually leave those back at the defaults because I think it's better if you're opening this to possibly edit it to get it like that. And then to publish something you click up here on the Tinkercad workspace and then on the workspace you find your design you click the gear and you change its properties. Of course, you need a file name. I always fill in the description. You can see here there's going to be a tutorial and then it also has other ways that you can reach me. I add tags. These will help if you're ever searching for something for your printer. And then also if you ever want to show me what you created, you can add the tag HLMT23. I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, you need to make the design public and then I almost always choose attribution no derivatives because I want you to come up here follow the tutorial and gain some skills but today I'm actually going to give this design away so I'm going to say attribution share alike so you can make a copy of this and modify it and make it more and more epic 
Now Tinkercad has a gallery that you can click on. When you do, it initially shows you the staff favorites. I do want you to know if you ever see one of mine in a staff favorite. Of course, you'll find a tutorial and reactions are always appreciated. If you shut off those staff picks, I always like to click on this little button right here and you'll instantly be able to see everybody's designs that were published. I always love to click on the designs and of course give everybody a reaction. These are absolutely fantastic. It's so fun to see the cool things that users come up with. Now I made this design a few days ago so it's hard to find in this list because there are millions of users making designs every day. So let's actually search for that tag. Let's do AA+. And when we press enter, now mine is not in the relevance list, but let's check the recent list and bingo, here it is. Now friends, what's so amazing about Tinkercad is you can click on this and you can copy and tinker it. But the golden rule of Tinkercad is before you copy and tinker, please give it a reaction. When you do copy and tinker, are you ready for this? You have been gifted an exact copy of what I created. You can go nuts learning how I did it and of course modifying it so it'll fit whatever project you want. And of course, friends, you can use all the skills you've gained in this tutorial to make your modification and you can even publish it so people could use yours as well. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.